Hey guys, Dr. Ben here, your functional medicine expert at the Functional Medicine Center of Fort Collins. And today I'm gonna to go over something that has had an impact on my life for years and years. I learned this uh, probably 20 some years ago from a great doctor out of, out of Las Vegas, Tim Francis, and it's called proper food combining. How many of you guys are dealing with digestion issues, whether that's indigestion, heartburn, reflux, gas, bloating, uh, even excess body weight will see change when we start getting that digestion improving. One of the simple things you can do, I'm not talking about taking an enzyme, taking stomach acid, taking more pills, that's uh, so many people's solution is here, let's throw more pills at you. What we're talking about is proper food combining. So food combining is something that is a pretty simple concept and yet it gets mistakenly used and thrown around many times for uh, for people all over and what we look at is that uh, it's going to help the body digest it's going to give it the best chance to break down and not sit there. When food sits in the stomach too long, it starts pushing back up on the sphincter in between the esophagus and the stomach. And what happens then is that that uh, pressure on the sphincter, we start getting reflux, indigestion, heartburn. So for anybody that has heartburn, the top two things they can do to get rid of that reflux or heartburn, one, not drink fluids with their meals. Check Facebook, I've got a video on that. Not drink a fluid with your meals. And the other is gonna do proper food combining. So proper food combining is keeping certain foods separate from one another. Uh, so heartburn. Also, indigestion, gas, bloating, the food is going to sit in the digestive tract too long. It's going to ferment. It's going to go into this, uh, I always like to use the example of, let's say you've got a bag of bananas and it's sealed and you put it in your car and it's 100 degrees outside, what's going to happen to that bag? Well, it's going to expand, right? Because those bananas are giving off gas. They're giving off uh, this uh, it's basically fermentation process. It's going to expand that bag and it's going to cause gas bloating. I have so many people come in like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm pregnant sometimes. And people look and they ask and it's embarrassing. So what do we do? Well, the first place that we go is we're going to keep our proteins and our starches separate. So what does that mean? Well, you're going to not eat a protein and a starch at the same meal. Uh, so look at the standard American fare. What is that? Well, you've got um, almost everything the standard American diet is protein and starch. Hot dog on a bun, hamburger on a bun, turkey sandwich, burrito, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. We look at uh, meat and potatoes. Pretty much any meal out there is going to have uh, protein and it's going to have starch. So what we need to do is we need to keep those separate at meals. So what does that mean? Well, uh, if you are going to have a meatball and you want that spaghetti sauce, do it with a bunch of vegetables. Don't do it with the spaghetti. If you're going to have a piece of pizza and you're going to eat that, um, eat that starch, don't put pepperoni, sausage, things like that. If you're going to have a burger, have a burger patty with a bunch of lettuce, with a bunch of vegetables, those type of things. Um, so you keep your proteins and your starches separate. And the physiological reason for this is they digest at different pH levels. Remember way back in science class, you had pH levels. So you've got uh, neutral pH is seven. That's what water is. You've got more acidic is lower, so all the way down to one. You've got higher acidity is 14. The stomach acid, and we want our stomach somewhere in that one and a half to three, three and a half range. Proteins are digested more acidically at one and a half to two, where starches are a little bit higher, that two and a half to three. If you combine them together, neither one breaks down. So what happens is we get this fermentation. We get food sitting in the digestive tract. 
Uh, it's going to affect our weight. It's going to affect that gas, bloating. Um, I have so many people that if we do proper food combining and we keep it stable that way, they'll start losing weight just by digesting better. So this doesn't mean that somebody can't ever have starches. It doesn't have to be a paleo or any of those. If somebody can have a grain, a starch, something like that, and it doesn't make their blood sugar go up, it doesn't make their immune response go up, they can eat that, uh, eat that starch, but it needs to be separate from the protein. Um, so combining those foods appropriately, so what do we do? Well, we do protein, we do vegetables, and we do fat. And that's going to be a, a certain meal on the proper food combining. The other side is going to be a starch, vegetable, probably a smaller amount of fat, um, but that's going to be, be fine on that side as well. Uh, fruit is going to be eaten separately with the proper food combining model. Why? Fruit goes through very quickly. So what happens, let's say you eat an apple, that apple is going to be gone out of the stomach in 15-20 minutes. But if you eat an apple and a burger and a bun and french fries, that apple is going to sit in the stomach, it's going to go slower through the digestive tract. Same thing just like the banana in the cars. That fruit is going to ferment, it's going to give off gas, bloating, it's going to throw off our mi microbiome. A lot of different things will change. Uh, most people, if they're doing proper food combining, even if they eat more calories or less calories, it doesn't matter. They're not going to gain weight. They're not going to um, go go over over where they need, even if they're going to eat more calories through there. So, uh, proper food combining. If you've got questions, if you've got any any experiences that you've had with this process, uh, leave them in the in the comments below. Anybody that you know that's dealing with digestion issues with any, any uh, gas, bloating, indigestion, they're taking tums all day long, anything like that, like or share with them and uh, get this information out there. It's a simple tool, it takes a little thought process, but very simple and people can do it day in and day out and change their life without having to take extra supplements. So uh, if you've got any questions at all, drop us a line. We'd love to help people with these type of type of tools and uh, again like or share with anybody that you know and make it a great day.